Hey guys and welcome back to another video. You've probably seen this on the internet, well about a day ago, the new exclusive, well not exclusive, but Nexus launcher for the Nexus phones that will probably debut, I'm just reading the title, but they've, some uh, APKs have been roaming around the internet and I found it sourced here on XDA or at least one of them and I'm going to go through how to install this on your phone and I think all you need to do is, or all, all you need to have is a well, there are certain things that you can and can't have, but you'll need a device on Marshmallow and above. No lollipop just yet. So here it is. You can grab, this will be the link down below. You can grab the attached zip file here or download it from the Android file host website. And it's just a zip that you can flash in TWRP. But if you don't feel like doing that, and or if you just want the wallpaper picker, they have one, a new one included, which is actually very cool. If you want to stick with your existing existing launchers or you don't really want to install it, uh, the Nexus launcher, you can do that as well. So I'm going to head over to our device. I've just downloaded it and copied it there, or I've actually downloaded it from my device. And I'm going to be using the Explore File Manager to have a look inside. So usually this is uh, flashable. If we open up the zip and then go to System and then go to App, here is our wallpaper picker. Uh, you can install that if you like. But if we go into Private App, I just went to the wrong folder. If we go into the private app, we can see the Nexus launcher here. Now, if you install it normally like a normal APK, you won't get the Google Now integration. And I think, well, it still works as normal. So if we hit done and we hit home, we can go over to launcher three. And as you can see, it looks like that. We also have our pull up to get to our app drawer, our app tray and new folder designs. Well, not too much has changed. I think if you add an icon there, you should see the search bar. Well, maybe that was just a widget. That doesn't matter. We can... Well, this is what it looks like. We'll have a look at the settings. App suggestions, show Google app, and the allow the home screen rotation. You can turn that on. So when you go landscape, it changes as well. You can tap on this to go to the Google app or the search bar instead but you still can't swipe to the left to do that. You'll need to move the app into the system for that to happen. And if you haven't installed the wallpaper picker, it just crashes. So if we go back to our file manager and make it vertical again, if we install the, the wallpaper picker inside the app and then wallpaper picker Google pre-built folder and we install that, we should be able to pick our wallpapers. And if we go back to our launch three, we still can't swipe that, that's fine. And we hit wallpapers, we should be able to see the new wallpaper picker, which is actually quite cool. There are the on-device wallpapers, and of course we have, I think these are an assortment of Google's wallpapers that they like to pick out, such as the Earth ones. And what I'm very interested in is a daily wallpaper. So, you know, that looks nice. Maybe I like the landscape ones more. Life, we have real textures, and of course we have our live wallpapers and wallpapers from other launches and such. So I'm going to go over to the Earth ones and I think we can just do a daily wallpaper and that's just to check if you want it on Wi-Fi only. And we're going to hit set wallpaper and there we go, we have that. So if we want to make or allow the Google Now integration here, I think all you have to do is install it as a system app and you can do that through Lucky Patch or, or another app that actually does or installs applications to the system. Now what we can do here is tap and hold uh, using Lucky Patch Up and we can go move to system app. Now I'm not sure if it has to be private app or just app and we'll see if this works. Otherwise we'll just have to flash, uh, flash the zip file in TWRP and that should pick it up quite nicely. So I'll be back when this finishes booting up. Alrighty, so our phone is booted up and we're gonna hit just once as usual. And you can see now we have a little toggle there. Well, kind of, it looks like an extended white line and you can bring that over like a tag. I guess I'll fix that up in a, make it look a little bit more pleasing up there, but that's fine. You can see the weather and the summer games for Overwatch and anything else that you're interested in. So 
that's about it. That's how you install it. Of course, you can go around and play with this yourself. The folders look like that. I mean, the drawers bring up like that. You can still search apps. But I think, I don't know if it was a shortcut where you held the all apps, the apps button, and it did that, and it went to the search apps option automatically. I'm not sure if that was there, but anyway, this is it. That's how you install it. So you don't really need TWRP. You can just do it through an application such as Lucky Patcher, or I think there's a system app mover that does it as well. But otherwise, uh, that's how you can do it. So thank you guys for watching. And if you have any suggestions for tutorials or any guides that you want, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.